I am doing some batch cooking today. I'm going to cook once and eat all week according to this cookbook by Joy Garcia where she tells us how to meal prep in minutes. And what am I making? Well, I'm using ground beef as my mainstay and I am going to make Bacon burgers with broccoli and twice baked fries, picadillo tacos, and my all time favorite cottage pie. And I just thought this would be a good week to bring you along and let you see how everything works out. So let's get it started. So the first thing I do to get started is to cook my ground beef. I've got three and a half pounds of ground beef and I'm going to get that crumbled up. And I'm going to add about a teaspoon of salt initially. I can add more salt and other seasonings as we move through the meal prep days. But for right now, I'm just going to add a teaspoon of salt. This is the first time I've tried the batch cooking. So when my husband saw all the ground beef setting out to thaw, he was like, are you cooking enough ground beef for an army? And I told him no, I'm planning to do some batch cooking. Once the ground beef is fully cooked, it's browned and nicely crumbled, I'm going to drain the fat. And then I'm going to divide it up. I'm going to place three and a half cups in a container labeled tacos and the remaining four and a half cups in a container labeled cottage pie. Once it cools, I'll store it in the refrigerator for use later in the week. I wash and peel about five pounds of potatoes, and the recipe calls for Yukon Gold potatoes, but what I've got is Idaho white potatoes, so that's what I'm using. Some of the potatoes will be used for mashed potatoes, some of the potatoes will be cubed and cut up to be used in the picadillo tacos, and some of the potatoes will be used for the twice baked fries. The prep for the mashed potatoes and the picadillo tacos required me to cook the potatoes first. So I'll get them into a pot and then I'll bring them to a boil and then once they become tender, I'll drain them and then I'll separate them for the two meals. Now it's time to do the prep for the twice baked fries, but these potatoes were not cooked. I set them aside in water and now I am going to cut them into wedges.
Once they're tossed to my satisfaction, I will spread them on a baking sheet that I've already lined with parchment paper, and they need to be spread out evenly and try not to let them touch if at all possible. They'll go into an oven that was preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'll let them bake for about 15 to 20 minutes, and then I'll flip them over and let the other side cook through, and they should be a nice golden brown. And just as a reminder, some of the potatoes are set aside for the picadillo tacos, and those are cut into little bite-sized cubes. Some of the potatoes are set aside for the cottage pie, and those potatoes are also cut into little bite-sized cubes. And then the rest of the potatoes are used for the mashed potatoes. Now what goes into these mashed potatoes? Well, I'll add a quarter cup of heavy cream. And then a half to a teaspoon of coarse sea salt. And of course, a little cracked black pepper. And once I thought they looked about right, I gave them a little taste and decided to add a little bit more salt and pepper. And I also added a little bit more of cream. And these storage containers are the Rubbermaid Brilliant storage containers, and I absolutely love them. I really like the fact that they're so flat. They're pretty close to the same shape and size, and I can stack them nicely. I'll put a link in the description box in case you want to check them out. Now it's time to get those fries out of the oven. Once they cool off, I put them in a storage container to pop them in the fridge for use later in the week. So prep day is finished. There are still a couple of things that I need to do, but I'm not going to do them tonight. I need to fry four strips of bacon, and I also need to make the sauce. It's called um, the picadillo sauce for the tacos. I'll make that tomorrow too. It's nothing I've got to cook, but there are some things I need to chop and just put together. But it's been a long session, so I will do those two pieces tomorrow. 
The other thing about this particular week, and this is week four, is that it does call for broccoli florets. I don't have any broccoli, so we're gonna use uh, French style green beans in place of the broccoli. And we'll just go from there. But I got my goodies done, gonna put those in the fridge, and they'll be in the fridge for the next couple of days, depending upon what's what and what meal is supposed to be for. So I'm really excited to assemble things, and I'll bring you back and I'll let you see that. If you want to see some cozy up, warmy up meals during this very wintry season, click here. In the meantime, this is Denise Jordan saying, you are not done yet. Click on the link in the comment section below and check out my video on crock pot chili. You will absolutely love it. And I'll see you next time.